G'day all. So it's the 79's turn to be on a jack. <laughs> Something different, hey? Alright, so the issue I've got is of late, at low speed, I've been getting a shutter on the on the brake pedal. And we've thrown the, the OBD on it and we've come up with a couple of uh, fault codes. Uh, both both to do with the brakes. It's telling me that there's something wrong with this right rear, a C1415. And it's also telling me a C1425, which is a stop switch open circuit. Now the stop switch open circuit we've worked out. I blew a fuse on that last trip towing the caravan down, down to the Dewar River. I blew a fuse on the Red Arc. So for that night, uh, I didn't have any trailer brakes, which I wasn't really aware of. All I knew is I got to the bottom and my brakes were hot. So to deal with the, the right rear, what I expected to find, I expected to take this all apart and see mud and stuff in there on the reader, but it's not the case. The bearings are in okay condition, not great. Um, you know, there are signs of the salt water that we do, that trip we do twice a year. It's a bit of rust on the back of the axle flange. Um, but they're in good, they're in okay condition. There was no play in them. Now, it's telling me that there's an issue with this reader. So this is the ABS sensor, a wheel speed sensor. So we know that the fitting was okay because we cleared the code and it didn't come back straight away. So we know that the wire is not cut. But the problem did come back. I think I found the problem. So this is the sensor which is a magnet. Now when your disc rotates, this actually picks up a speed of each wheel. So when you get different speeds for a different wheel, it thinks you're about to have an accident or it thinks you've locked up a wheel. That's when your ABS will cut in. So what we found is I've cleaned this hub up. It looks pretty ordinary when I first took it apart. But I found a broken tooth on the reader. So that sensor's coming around. I'm lucky that I don't have any handbrakes set up on this. So it's quite easy for me to get to that because my handbrake's up on the transmission. So it's easy for me to just take 20 minutes to get the axle out and the um, bearings off. But this is the problem. So it's coming around and it's reading. So it only happens at low speed. So what's happening is this is coming up, hitting the sensor and it's not reading that speed. So that's why the ABS wants to kick in and it gives me a shutter in the foot. I've had a couple of blokes ask me over, over the years um, about shuttering uh, uh, brake pedals. Now I've always told them check your bearings because I know with the fronts when the bearings come loose they, it wobbles so when it's coming down to a low speed it will shutter the brake. So this is either going to be a brand, brand new sensor ring or bush mechanic. So we all know on the comp truck I'm a specialist at smashing diff teeth, crown and pinion teeth. Um, I don't know how this has happened. I really don't. I mean, I might have been unlucky. A rock's gone up through the back of it. It's impossible, to be honest. Like, there's got to go through a gap of like that. So, I, I really don't know. Uh, but what I do know is um, I'm either going to have to buy a brand new ring from Toyota or a second-hand hub from the Wreckers or try and fix it. Because I'm both uh, a carpenter and a tight ass, I'm gonna make up uh, a couple of bits of timber to put in the two sections next to the broken tooth, clean them off with a sharp chisel, and then splice the back off so that it's in that same circumference. And I'm gonna use some um, fuel tank putty. So this is a metal putty, two part putty, and I'm gonna form up that tooth. It's worth a shot. Okay, so that's one in, and I'll just clean this front edge up. So a little bit of form works in, and what I'm gonna try and do now is just fill in. I'm gonna play dentist. I'm just gonna fill in between the two bits of timber with the metal putty and see if it'll stick. I've cleaned that metal. I've given it a touch of sandpaper. It's a two-part mix, so a little bit of the outside edge and a little bit of the inside edge. Mix it up and just fill in the blank. Right, I'll leave a piece here on the disc. So I, at least I know when that's going to be hard. I've got an hour's worth of other stuff to do on the truck. Um, and then we'll just come back, take the timber out and see if it's held. Be good if crown wheel teeth were this easy to fix, eh, hey, Brian? I think I need new rims from all that salt water work. It's starting to rust around the welds. It's getting pretty bad, actually. That's why I'm looking now for some alloys. The problem is I'm running the neg 50s and the zeros. 
and unless I fix the track width, I can't really run zeros all round. So I'm in the middle of talking with Bud's Customs to get their 40 mil uh, hubs. Uh, we'll just see how that goes. That's rock hard now, a couple of hours later. So we can strip that bit of formwork and put it all back together. So I've been driving around for half an hour. Um, and believe it or not, it fixed it. So there's no, uh, there's no noise coming now with the pedal. There's no shutter. But I do just want to show people uh, that don't know, when you put your rear locker on, that's when your ABS comes off. Still in two wheel drive, the rear locker will never engage. It'll only engage when you go back in a high range. So that was my way of disengaging the ABS to not get that shutter while I found the time to do this little job. So it's another tip. If you are having the ABS issues and it's unbearable on the foot, um, until you do get it sorted, you can just turn the rear locker on and the ABS will come off. It's actually how some of the brake booster mobs do their tests uh, when they put their boosters in and I'm not sure if you wondered how, but they do their, they get up to 100k an hour and they, they lock up the brakes. It's because they've disarmed the ABS. That's how they're able to measure uh, their stopping distances when it comes to those uh, examples. So we got away with it this time. Uh, I will end up getting some new rings, but um, in the meantime, thanks for watching.